Krishna. Anything he desires is immediately fulfilled. Krishna wants to put 16,108 beautiful palaces on the small island of Dwarka, and immediately it is done. Krishna wants to give Maharaj Yudhisthira billions of servants. Maharaj Yudhisthira had more bodyguards than the entire population of the earth today, and they all lived on the tiny island of Dwarka. Now for us, you see how much trouble there is at this Kumbh Mela when there's just 20 million people trying to bathe in the Sangam. There's people getting crushed to death, there's people drowning, there's people in so much distress. But Krishna can put four quadrillion bodyguards of Maharaj on the island of Dwarka. And we may think, how is this possible? It is because Krishna is Swaraj. He can do anything. When we read about Dwarka, we don't read about traffic jams. How they're all bumping into each other, bumper to bumper traffic, trying to get to the Sudharma meeting house. We read how it's so spacious. It's all beautiful lawns and gardens and lakes with auspicious trees and everybody's dressed in beautiful jewelry and silks. Plenty room for everyone. Krishna can do anything because he's independent. Anytime. He is Swaraj. Krishna wants to manifest his Mahavishnu form. Within a second he becomes Mahavishnu. And all the planets emanate from his body and his exhalation. And when he decides, I want to destroy all the cosmic manifestation, he just inhales and everything is destroyed. Krishna can place the whole universe within his mouth and show it to Mother Jashoda. And then he can close his mouth and appear just like a helpless child. So we are all part and parcel of Krishna. We are all eternally dependent on Krishna. Our independence is perfectly situated when we independently choose to depend completely on Krishna. But when we misuse our independence and try to imitate Krishna by being the controller and not accept the position of being controlled, then all the miseries and illusions of material life follow that wrong choice. The jivatma is tatashtashat. That means marginal energy. That means we have the independence to decide whether we want to be controlled by the material energy or whether we want to be controlled by the spiritual energy. But in any case, we are completely dependent, but we have the independence because we are part of Krishna to choose who to depend on, Maya or Krishna. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com. <laughs>